Good afternoon. This is December 2nd, 2020. Um, so I just picked this amp up for about $100 on Craigslist, uh, the PV Deuce. And there's not a lot of information about these out there. So I just thought I would do a quick review. Um, I actually don't know that much about them myself, just to just a sound review. I think um, it needs new speakers uh, or something. It's it's an older amp. It uh, it's a Deuce from the nineteen the early seventies. Um, really heavy, uh, one hundred percent solid state. Um, so here we go. Well, it sounds like it, uh, it, it's not a hundred percent clear at, at really low volumes. This is on like, uh, volume level two, one, yeah, one. Um, these amps go really loud and I don't want to disrupt my neighbors or anything, so, but, um, I've, I've seen other reviews online and, uh, they, they are pretty clean amps, so I think it needs new speakers. Um, uh, it, it just, they just sound, it just sounds a little off, which isn't a big deal. For a hundred dollars, you can't really go wrong. Um, yeah. Uh, if you guys know any more information about them or any speakers that uh, that would be good uh, replacements, I believe they're the original ones. Um, yeah, nineteen seven, early seventy, seventy one, seventy two. I was told. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, maybe I'll just play a couple things just to give you a little more sound. Um, and yeah, I, I plan on having this this amp as my uh, my steel guitar amp. I also play pedal steel right there, um, and uh, I'd like it to be like a, a nice, loud, clean amp. But uh, with the speakers that it, it that are in it right now, I, I think it's the speakers. I'm assuming that's what it is. Um, it, it's it just wouldn't be possible so uh, I'll probably replace them so I'll have a, a nice amp uh, in the meantime I'm actually playing my steel through the studio chorus 210 which uh, is a great little amp they they have 10 inch speakers so it doesn't give me the bottom end that that I would like uh, especially for the steel guitar but the, the high end on those amps is really nice um, Two tens is, is it's, it's perfect for guitar. Uh, but yeah, anyways, here's a little more playing and then I'll see it off. Sounds almost overdriven or something, but there's oh god, it's buzzing. Um, 
but yeah, no, it's, it's, it should be clean. Uh, there's no lead channel on this app. There's, well, there's a clear channel, but that just means, uh, I believe that just means it, it goes, the, it doesn't go through the reverb tank, uh, on the, on the clear channel. It only has bass and treble and then volume on the, on the, uh, it says reverb channel. I would just call that the normal channel because, uh, who doesn't use reverb? <laughs> just kidding. Um, uh, yeah, so the reverb channel, um, it, it's a volume, treble, bass, middle, and then, uh, reverb, and then the effect, I'm not sure what it is. I was told that it's a phase shifter, but it sounds like it's a, a tremolo. Maybe it's just a really bad phase shifter. Um, and you have depth and rate. And that might be damaged too. It might not be working properly, but it, it doesn't sound like a phase shifter. It sounds more like a treadmill. But I've only heard that it, it, these either were a flange or a phase shifter or something. Um, I've heard nothing about these amps having tremolo uh, built in. Just uh, so I'll probably just keep that off. Uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, sorry for the the early morning playing. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, maybe I'll make another one uh, when I get it fixed and uh, give you a little demo on my guitar and on the steel guitar. Uh, hopefully my playing is a little better next time. Anyways, peace out.